Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 309. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 307 to 315. Hey, we got a great one here. We have a list of values. <clears throat> 4ER. I need to find out if it's in this list. However, I want to find it even if there's characters before it. So the 4ER, I want it to say true right here because it found it here even though there was characters before it. This number 4, I want to get return a true here even if, oh yeah, there's a number 4 but there's some stuff after it. Now we're going to use a couple of great functions here search look up and is number let's start with search and see how that works search is similar to find you can say hey look for a particular text string in a larger text string and tell me the position so for example if I was doing this finding this within this it would give me one two three four the fifth position so that's what search does find does the same thing but it's case sensitive search is not but watch this we're going to kind of turn the search function on its head the find text that's a single piece of text comma and the within text you usually just click on a cell like this right and it will in fact let's do that it'll return five right f2 but watch this. We're going to con convert this uh, function returning a single value to a function that will return it an array of values. This argument right here is expecting a single cell, but if you highlight a bunch of cells, it'll return an array, meaning if it finds it in multiple ones, it'll return multiple uh, positions. Now watch this Control Enter. We get a value error. Um, now let's try since this is we're trying to convert this to an array hold control shift and tap enter oh wait a second we get the same thing but watch this if we highlight this and hit the evaluate key f9 oh we can see it really is turning an array but in order for us to see the whole array we have to put it in an argument in a function that that's expecting an array Notice there's the five, so it only found one of them. And that's our goal, ultimately, is to say, hey, is this anywhere in this list? I'm going to click Escape. We're going to put this inside of a function that it can accept arrays, lookup. All right, lookup and sum product are examples of functions that can handle arrays without doing Control-Shift-Enter. Now, it needs a lookup value and then a lookup vector or a, an array here and we're going to give it a big number now the maximum number of characters in the cell is 32,777 or something like that but guess what if you type 2 caret 15 comma and use that as your the 200, the 2 raised to the 15th power, if you use that as your lookup value, it'll find any number um, in this range right here. Now, 2 raised to the 15th is significant because it's one number more than the maximum number of characters in a cell. And I will sh prove that to you in just a moment. But let's just see if we can uh, control enter. And sure enough, do you see it found that 5. We gave it a super big number. Um, and the way lookup works is if you give it a big number, it'll find uh, the biggest number in this uh, array here. So if you give it the maximum number that it could possibly be plus one, it'll always find a number in this array here. Now, that's not what we want. We don't want a number. So we want true or false. So we're going to put is number, is number close parentheses that'll convert that number to a true or false now we double click and send this down and sure enough it did the job that example is where it says false that was found nowhere in this list whereas this one was there probably as we can see there were no exact matches but this formula told us if there was anything before or after it actually would find it now let's go back over to this 2 to the 15th I'm gonna write here equals 2 caret 15, right? So 32,768 is the number it delivers. Now let's see, let's type 
uh, 32,768 characters into the cell to um, and see if Excel will accept it. So watch this. We're going to use the repeat function and repeat any text you want. I'm going to put a double quote explanation point just because it's skinny. Uh, double quote, comma, and then the number of times. Let's put in 2 caret 1 5, right? No way it's not going to let us because there's too many characters. But watch this. We'll subtract 1 from it. So again, the idea of the 2 to the 15th, we used it in this formula because it was um, a bigger number than the number of characters allowed in the cell, which is what, a, what we wanted. But now let's subtract one from it, and the repeat function works. It's repeating that uh, 32,767 times because it's allowed. But again, if we take that, um, oops, if we take that one out, it won't. So that, in essence, we're trying to prove that that number is big enough to accommodate any text string that somebody could have put over here. All right, uh, so that's um, an amazing little couple tricks there. We'll see you next trick.